Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for a new top 10. Today we have the attack helicopters. The first machine of the list is the South African Ruivalk. It's being produced from 1990 and cost about 40 million dollars. The empty weight is 2250 kg while the max takeoff weight is 5800 kg. It has two engines with a total of 1000 kW. It can reach a speed of 268 km per hour with a cruise speed of 220 km per hour. It has a rate of climb of 12 meters per second with a combat range of 550 km, a ferry range of 800 km and a service sailing of 6500 meters. The overall protection can withstand a caliber 23 mm. We don't have a bulletproof glass, but we have rather laser warning receivers and flare chaff dispensers. The main gun is a 20mm F2 cannon, we have 1970mm MK4 rockets, then we find the Mokopa anti-tank guided missiles and Mistral anti-air missiles. For the armaments range we can find 1500m for the main cannon, 3700m for the MK4 rockets and 9000m for the FZ-90 rockets, 10000m for the Mokopa anti-tank tank guided missiles and 6000 meters for the Mistral anti-air missile. At the ninth spot we can find the light combat helicopter from India. It's being produced from 2017, so it's a very new aircraft. It costs 20 million dollars and the empty weight is 2250 kilograms. The max takeoff weight is 5800 kilograms. It's powered by two engines with a total of 1000 kW. It can reach a max speed of 268 km per hour with a cruise speed of 220 km per hour. The rate of climb is 12 meters per second with a combat range of 550 km, a ferry range of 800 km and a service sailing of 6500 meters. Until now is very similar to the previous one but for the LCH we can find also a low radar cross section, radar, laser and missile warning receivers, IR suppressors and uh, counter measuring dispensing system for chaff and the flares. Also for this one we don't find a bulletproof glass. And now it's finally time for the weapons. The main gun is a 20mm M621 cannon. We can find 12, 70 or 80 mm rockets. Then we have a Helena anti-tank guided missiles or Lahat anti-tank guided missiles. Mistral anti-air missiles and anti-ship missiles. Then we have also 250 kg bombs. The armaments range are 2000 meters for the main gun, 4000 meters for the rockets, 7000 meters for the Helena anti-tank guided missiles, 13000 meters for the Lahat and 6000 meters for the Mistral anti-air missile. For the next machine we have the Italian Mangusta. It's being produced from 1983 with a cost of 22 million dollars. The latest upgrade was made in 2014, the AH-129D. The empty weight is 2500 kg while the maximum takeoff weight is 5000 kg. It has two engines with a total power of 1000 kW. The maximum speed is 290 km per hour with a cruise speed of 265 km per hour. It's quite fast. The rate of climb is 14 meters per second with a combat range of 560 km, a ferry range of 1000 km and a service sailing of 6100 meters. The Mangusta protection can withstand 12.7mm caliber overall. It has a radar warning receiver, laser warning receiver, missile warning receiver. Then we have an AILT-554 radar, infrared jammers and the flyer chef dispenser. Also for this one, like the other helicopters, we don't have a bulletproof glass. Interesting for this one, you can have also a better radar mounted on the top of the main rotor on a mast. 
The Mangusta main gun is a 20mm 3 bar Gatling gun, but we can also have two uh, gun pods with inside 12.7mm machine guns. Then we can have 70mm rockets or 81mm Medusa rockets. For the missiles, we have uh, Hellfire ISM, Spike anti tank guided missiles, Iman anti Chu Stinger anti air missiles, and Mistral anti air missiles. The armament range are 2500 meters for the main gun, 3700 meters for the 70 millimeters rocket and 5200 meters for the 81 millimeters rockets. Almost all the missiles have 8000 meters range except for the Mistral anti-air missile that has 6000 meters range. At the seventh spot we can find the Eurocopter Tiger. It's being produced from 2003 and the latest upgrade was made in 2014, the Tiger HAD. It costs 36 million dollars. The empty weight is a little higher, 3100 kilograms, with a maximum takeoff weight of 6000 kilograms. The two engines can deliver a total power of 1100 kilowatts and it can reach a maximum speed of 290 km per hour with the mast, the radar on the top of the main road or 310 km per hour without the mast. The cruise speed is 260 km per hour with a rate of climb of 11 meters per second. The combat range is 800 km with a ferry range of 1300 km. The service sailing is 4100 meters. For the protection we have an armor that can withstand a caliber 23 mm, electronic warfare system, radar, laser and missile warning receivers, flare and chaff dispenser, we don't have a bar proof glass and also for this one we can have a mast mounted on the top of the main rotor if needed. The main gun of the Eurocopter Tiger is a 30mm cannon but we can have also two uh, 20mm auto cannon mounted in pods under the wings. For the rockets we can have 70mm Hydra or 68mm Snap while the missiles can be the Hellfire ASM, Spike ER ATGM, Hot Free ATGM, Pass Free Long Range, Stinger Anti-Air Missile or Mistral Anti-Air Missile. The weapons range are 2300 meters for the main gun, 80,000 meters for the Hydra rockets and 4000 meters for the Snap rockets. Then we have the usual 8000 meters for the Hellfire missiles, 8000 meters for the Spike ER, 4300 300 meters for the hot free, 7000 meters for the parse free, 8000 meters for the stinger anti-air missile and 6000 meters for the mistral missiles. The next machine of the list is the Z10 from China. It's being produced from 2012, also this one is a quite new aircraft with a cost of 70 million dollars. The empty weight is 5500 kilograms and the maximum takeoff weight is 7000 kilograms. We have two engines with a total power of 1000 kilowatts. It can reach a maximum speed of 310 km per hour with a cruise speed of 270 km per hour. The rate of climb is 15.5 meters per second with a combat range of 490 km and a ferry range of 820 km. The service ceiling is 6400 meters. The overall armor can withstand a caliber 12.7 mm. It has a cross section design with radar absorbent materials. So this helicopter is uh, quite stealthy. Then we have the radar and the laser warning receivers, electronic warfare system, jamming pods, infrared jammers and the flare chef dispenser. The bullet proof glass this time is present and it can withstand up to a caliber 7.62 mm. The main gun of this helicopter can be changed to afford almost every kind of situation. In fact we can have or a 23mm revolver gun or a 25mm cannon, 30mm cannon or a 35mm or 40mm grenade launchers or even 12.7 or 14.5 gutting guns. For the rockets we can have or the 57mm S5 or the 90mm BRM1. The missiles are the H J89 or 10 anti-tank guided missiles, the TE90 anti-air missiles and the PL5 7 or 9 anti-air missiles. The armaments range are 2500 meters for the revolver gun, 3000 meters for the cannon, 4000 meters for the 30 mm cannon, 1700 meters for the grenade launchers or 2200 meters for the bigger grenade launcher. The Gatling guns have both 2500 meters range. The rockets have uh, 
4000 meters for the S5 and the 8000 meters for the BRM 190. The anti tank guided missile have from 4000 to 10200 meters range, while the anti air missiles have from 6000 meters to 22000 meters range. Wow, it's impressive. And now it's finally time to start the top 5 with one of the most iconic helicopters ever created, the AH-1 Zeta Viper. Probably many of you know the first version of this helicopter, the AH-1 Cobra. It's being produced from 1971 and it cost 31 million dollars. The latest upgrade is the AH-1 Z made in 2010. The empty weight is 5600 kg, while the maximum takeoff weight is 8400 kg. It has two engines with a total power of 1340 kW. The maximum speed is 410 km per hour, it is very fast, while the cruise speed is 300 km per hour. It has a rate of climb of 14.2 m per second with a combat range of 230 km, a ferry range of 685 km, and a service sailing of 6000 meters. The overall protection can withstand a caliber 23mm, it has electronic warfare suite, radar warning receiver, laser warning receiver, missile warning receiver, infrared jammer and flare chaff dispensers. Also for this one we don't have a bulletproof glass. If needed it can use a longbow radar mounted in a pod on one of the wings. The main gun of the Viper is a 20mm 3 bar Gatling gun, then we have 70mm Hydra rockets, 70mm APKWS-2 rockets and 127mm Zuni rockets. For the missiles we can find the usual Hellfire ASM, the BGM-71 tow anti-tank guided missile and the Sidewinder anti-air missile. The range are 2500m for the main Gatling cannon, 8000m for the Hydra, 5000 meters for the APKWS-2 and 8000 meters for the Zuni rockets. The missiles range are 8000 meters for the Hellfire, like usual, 4200 meters for the BGM-71 and 15000 meters for the Sidewinder. In the fourth spot we have another very famous helicopter, the Mil-35 from Russia. The most famous version is the Mil-24 Hindi. It's being produced from 1972 and the latest upgrade is the Mil-24 VM in 2015. It costs 16 million dollars and very interesting this one it has not only a crew of two people but it can also transport 8-12 passengers. It's very interesting. This is the only helicopter the least capable of transporting passengers. It has an empty weight of 8350 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 11,500 kg. It has two engines with a total power of 1,860 kW. It can reach a speed of 315 km per hour and a cruise speed of 260 km per hour. The rate of climb is 15 meters per second with a combat range of 460 km, a ferry range of 1,000 km and a service sailing of 5,400 meters. The overall armor can withstand a caliber 23 mm. It has radar, laser and missile warning receivers, infrared jammers and flare chaff dispensers. Also this one, like the others, it has not a bulletproof glass. The main gun of the Mil-35 is a 23mm twin barrel cannon, but we can also have a true 23mm gun in the pods under the wings. The rockets are 80mm S8 or 122mm S13. For the missile we can find the 9M114 anti-tank guided missile or the 9M120 anti-tank guided missile. For the anti-air missiles we have the Aigla 1V or the Wimpel. Moreover we can also have 250 kg bombs, 500 kg bomb or mine dispenser pod. The weapons range are 2500 meters for the main gun, 4500 meters for the 80 mm rockets, 6000 meters for the 122 mm rockets, 5000 meters for the 9 M114 anti-tank guided missile, 8000 meters for the 9M120 anti-tank guided missiles, 5500 meters for the Aigla anti-air missiles and 30,000 meters for the Wimpel anti-air missile. 
Ok, now we start the top 3 with probably the most famous helicopter in the world, the AH-64 Apache from United States. It's being produced from 1986, it has a cost of 36 million and the latest upgrade, the AH-64E Guardian, is being produced from 2013. It has an empty weight of 5200 kg with a maximum takeoff weight of 10700 kg. It has two engines with a total power of 1500 kilowatts. The maximum speed is 290 km per hour with the mast, the radar on top of the main rotor, or 305 km per hour without the mast. The cruise speed is 280 km per hour, the rate of climb 14.2 meters per second, with a combat range of 480 km, a ferry range of 1900 km and a service sailing of 6400 meters. The overall protection can withstand a caliber 12.7 mm but up to 23 mm millimeters for the engine and the rotor. It has a radar warning receiver, radar interferometer, radar jammer, laser warning receiver, missile warning receiver and infrared jammer. Of course we can find also flour and chaff dispensers. We don't have a bulletproof glass but we have a long bow radar mounted on the mast on top of the main rotor and a UAV control if needed. We also have a target tracker for the land targets and a second generation FLIR. The Apache main gun is a 30mm chain gun cannon. We have Hydra rockets 70mm and the APKWS2 70mm. The missiles are the Hellfire ASM and the Singer anti-air missiles. The armaments range are 2600m for the chain gun, 8000m for the Hydra rockets, 5000m for the APKWS. 8000 meters for the Hellfire missiles and 8000 meters for the Stinger anti-air missiles. In the second spot we can find the MIL-28 from Russia. It's being produced from 2006 and the latest version was made in 2016, the MIL-28NM. It costs 18 million dollars, it has an empty weight of 7900 kg and a maximum takeoff weight of 11700 kg. For the power plant we have two engines with a total power of 1640 kW. It can reach a maximum speed of 320 km per hour, a cruise speed of 270 km per hour, a rate of climb of 13.7 meters per second, a combat range of 440 km and a ferry range of 1100 km. The service sailing is 5800 meters. The overall protection can withstand a caliber 23 mm and for this one we have also the best bulletproof glass that can withstand 7.62 mm, 12.7 mm and 20 mm half rank. Then we have a radar warning receiver, radar interferometer, laser and missile warning receivers, infrared jammers, platan jammer, then we have also a full automatic warning system and a parachute escape system. Also for this one we have a mast if needed, the Kinzhal radar and a third generation FLIR. The target tracker for the MIL-28 it can engage not only land but also air targets. The MIL-28 weapons are a 30mm cannon as a main gun or four 23mm guns in pods under the wings. The rockets are 80mm S8 or 122mm S13. For the missiles we have 9K-118 anti-tank guided missiles or 9M-120D anti-tank guided missiles. The anti-air missiles are the IGLA-1V or the Vimpel. Also for this one we can also have bombs, 500 kg or main dispenser pod. The armaments range are 4000 meters for the main cannon or 2500 meters for the guns in, uh, in the pods. The S8 rockets have 4500 meters range and the S13 6000 meters. The anti-tank guided missiles have 4000 meters for the 9K118 and 10000 meters for the 9M120D. The anti-air missiles have 5500 meters for the IGLA 1V and 30000 meters for the R73. And it's finally time for the first spot of the list, the Kamon 52 Alligator from Russia. It's being produced from 1990 and the latest upgrade was made in 2015, the Kamon 52K. It cost 20 million and very interesting, the crew of this helicopter is not in tandem but side by side. So both of them can see the same things and operate better together. The empty weight is 7700 kg and the maximum takeoff weight is 10800 
700 kilograms. It has an empty weight of 7,700 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 10,800 kilograms. It has two engines with a total power of 1,850 kilowatts. It can reach a speed of 315 km per hour, a cruise speed of 270 km per hour, a rate of climb of 16 meters per second, a combat range of 520 km, a ferry range of 1200 km, and the service sailing is 5500 meters. The overall protection can withstand a caliber 23 mm. We have a bulletproof glass up to 7.62 mm, radar, laser, and missile warning receivers, infrared jammers, platan jammers, radar interferometer, flare shaft dispensers, also for this one we have the full automatic warning system, ejector seats, so like the airplane this one can eject the pilot, it's also, and a coaxial rotor, very important. In fact for this one we don't have a back rotor, so it's more safe and more silent. Very interesting for this one we have the best radar of the list, with the Arbalete radar, AISA radar, UEV control, an Ireland target tracker and a third generation flare. And now it's finally time for the common weapons. It has a lot of them. We can start from the guns. It has a 30mm cannon, semi-rigid, mounted uh, on the starboard and not on a turret, and up to 4 23mm gun in pods under the wings. For the rockets we have 80mm S8 rockets or 122mm S13. For the missiles we have the usual anti-tank guided missiles that can be 9M120D, 9K121, then we have anti-air missiles, the Aigla 1V or R73. Then we have the KH-25 ASM, the KH-35, the KH-31 and the KH-38 HAR. Also for this one we can find also uh, 500 kg bombs, mine dispenser pod and the UAV dispenser pod. The armaments range are 4000 meters for the main cannon, 2500 meters for the guns in the pods, 4500 meters for the 80 mm rockets, 6000 meters for the 122 millimeters rockets, and then 10,000 meters for the anti-tank guided missiles, 30,000 meters for the anti-air missiles, up to 60,000 meters for the ISM, and from 120,000 meters up to 300,000 meters for the harm missiles. This one is really a monster. I don't know what you think, but it's really impressive to me. The best helicopter in the Hey, also today we have a little bonus and for this list we find the Comanche. The Comanche was built in 1996, but only two of them were built before the project was cancelled. The overall project was quite good, but uh, it reached some problems and the project was closed. The main problems probably were that the helicopter was really expensive for the stealth technology adopted because the helicopter, just like the name say, R stay for reconnaissance and A for attack, H for helicopter. So it was an helicopter for recon and attack. So if we want to think about the attack side of the helicopter, the Apache and the Viper are better. They can carry more weapon, they both have more power, so they are better. So for the attack side, the, they already had other helicopters that can make this job better. And for the Recon, for the Recon, the stealth side of this helicopter was good because in the same period the drones, the UAV, were able to make a better job because they were smaller, less detectable, and there no crew inside. So also if the enemy detect them and take them down, you don't lose any human life. Probably these are the main reason why they cancelled the program. For the attack side they already had better helicopters and for the recon the drones were better. So it became useless to spend so much money for this kind of helicopter. If we want to place this one in uh, this list, probably it would be at the 11th spot. Because uh, as I said, for the attack side the others are much better. They can carry more weapons because this one has only an internal bay and it can carry just few missiles. It's not very good for the attack side. It was a very good looking project. I really liked this helicopter, but unfortunately it's not enough to be a good helicopter. Looking good, but you can still admire it in some museum. So better than nothing, I think. 
Okay, so the video finished here, so this is the usual end card. I would like to remind you that you can find more video like this one in a playlist that you can find here on, on, on the channel. Remember to leave a like if you liked the video, to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet, click on the bell to receive a notification, it's very important. But remember, every Saturday, notification or not, you will find a new video. So every Saturday, stay tuned, come here, you can find a new video. And sometimes also on a Tuesday or Thursday, you can find a little bonus. So see you next time. Bye.